The 2023 climbing season has been deadly. We are seeing many news articles break about different expeditions on Everest experiencing challenges, and the first week of Annapurna 1 was no different. Known for having one of the highest fatality rates of all 8,000ers, the 10th tallest peak in the world, is infamous for its avalanches and hidden crevasses. Famous Ireland climber Noel Hanna, who has successfully summited Everest over 10 times, is among the first climbers to push for the summit of Annapurna, as well as two Indian climbers, Anurag Malu and Baljeet Kaur, that have gone missing on the peak. Our story today covers the first week of the 2023 season on Annapurna 1, and the hardship each mountaineer faced. Up until recently, Annapurna 1 had the highest fatality rate for all 8,000ers. Although K2 has taken that title, that doesn't change the fact of how deadly the 10th tallest peak in the world is. With its natural steep climbing walls, the mountain is more susceptible to avalanches and unpredictable weather. Hidden crevasses lay dormant until an unsuspecting climber takes one wrong step. It's not as popular to climb as Everest, but it is truly reserved for those with bravery and mastery of their skill. Noel Hanna was exactly that man. At the age of 56, there was little the Ireland climber had not seen. He had successfully climbed Everest over 10 times, reached the highest point in the world on all seven continents, and became the first Ireland climber to summit and descend K2. Noel would become the first northern Ireland climber to summit Montesquieu without supplemental oxygen, and in 2017, while accompanied by three Sherpas, they became the first men to summit Burt Kong, which borders Nepal and Tibet. Many had come before them and failed, but Noel and his team were the ones to etch their names in the history books. While his accomplishments are vast, it is safe to say he truly loved the sport. The start of any climbing season is always exciting, as guides and event planners try to time the best summit window months in advance. For Annapurna 1, the middle of April marked when most climbers would be attempting to make a push for the top. At base camp, there were 18 climbers, including Noel, gearing up for the start of the season. Despite being 56, he felt healthy enough to plan another expedition, and what better way to kick off the season by attempting an 8,000er. On April 16th, Noel was stationed at Camp 4, just 200 meters under the summit. He was accompanied by Naila Kiani and Shiroze Kashif from Pakistan, and Ku Sui Chow from Singapore. It was not until 7 p.m. that all four climbers left to reach the summit together. As they climbed, the group passed fellow Indian climber Anurag Malu and his team who were returning after just reaching the peak. They shared some encouraging pats on the back and a thumbs up as the two groups crossed paths. Hours and hours went by as Noel and his team spent all night climbing Annapurna. The progress was slow, but they were very intentional with their movements. To reach the summit, the men would consistently have to climb through waist-high snow that is ever-changing around them due to being on a steep incline. There would be little to no flat areas to rest on as your legs are pleading for a break. At 7.30 a.m., while the sun was rising on the horizon, the team finally eclipsed the high point and reached the summit of the deadly mountain. Noel felt exhausted and knew they still had to descend but there is no other feeling like reaching a summit. That moment in time is special. After spending a few minutes up there, the four climbers took a break, gathered themselves mentally, and began their descent. They had been climbing for just over 12 hours at this point, so on the way down, they did not remain as a group. Instead, they all descended at their own pace. It was the perfect day to climb, as there were no weather conditions. None of the men were in a rush, and Noel particularly was slow to descend. His goal was just to reach Camp 4 before the sunset and settle in for the night before descending to base camp the following day. Although, as the day progressed, Noel started to realize just how exhausted he was. He would have to take one step to descend, following by resting a few minutes and then repeating the process. As you can imagine, taking one step every few minutes is not ideal, and Noel would not reach Camp 4 until 7 p.m. that night. Arjun Vajbai, a fellow climber that had also reached the summit the same day, saw Noel walk into camp. He reports that Noel was too exhausted to talk much, but seemed to be aware of himself and his surroundings. He would make himself a bowl of hot soup before zipping up his tent and turning in for the night. 
The next morning, Arjun woke up and began checking on all the climbers at Camp 4, and once he made it to Noel's tent, he could instantly tell that something was wrong. For one, Noel was unresponsive to any call-out. There had been no noises or movement made inside for hours. Arjun unzipped the tent from the outside and peeked inside, and the first thing he saw was a body laying in a sleeping bag, deathly silent. It didn't take him long to realize that Noel had unfortunately passed away. Feeling crushed as the mood at camp instantly soured, Arjun radioed down to base camp to pass on the news of what had happened. After being discovered, a team of Sherpas were put together to bring Noel's body down the mountain to be airlifted to Kathmandu and later transported to his family. His cause of death was believed to be altitude-related exhaustion as his body simply had no energy left after climbing for a little under 24 total hours. Although Noel had just passed from climbing Annapurna, there were two climbers that he passed on his descent, still lost on the mountain and fighting for their lives. Baljit Kaur, an Indian climber that also successfully reached the summit on April 17th, but had gone missing near Camp 4 while descending solo from the summit. Her Sherpa that had been contracted for the trip received a better offer from a different foreigner, so he never actually climbed the mountain with her. Instead, he left her in Kathmandu to fend for herself. Baljeet was instead led by an inexperienced porter and would meet up with an experienced Sherpa later. Unfortunately, they would meet the Sherpa just under the summit at Camp 4, after he had just finished an expedition on the peak and had not slept for over 24 hours. The plan was not appealing to Baljeet, but nevertheless, on July 17th, the same day Noel summited, the three were stationed at Camp 4, ready to push for the peak. They had spent the entire previous day climbing with little rest, so their bodies were already feeling the toll on the mountain. And honestly, it went pretty much as expected. The three successfully reached the top towards the end of the day, but by this time, Baljeet's mind and body had reached its limits. She began hallucinating as altitude sickness began to take over. The three climbers quickly turned around and started their descent in the night, but just like Baljeet, her porter and Sherpa were also at their limits. All three climbers were experiencing altitude-related sickness and it was becoming harder and harder to provide help to each other. Baljeet was clearly in the worst shape out of the three, and given everyone's condition, they agreed the Sherpa would go on ahead for help. After an hour or two of Baljeet and her porter descending together, little progress had been made, and the porter was growing impatient. Eventually, he too would go on ahead with the plan of sending someone back to help Baljeet. Hours would pass as night became day. Baljeet lay there alone on the mountain, slapping her face in an attempt to keep herself awake, her mind playing tricks on her. She had been on the mountain for over 36 hours, and climbing for the past 16 hours, so her body was heavily exposed to the conditions. After Baljeet did not make it back to camp, the overall consensus was that something negative had happened to her. The minute base camp organized an aerial surveillance mission in an attempt to confirm her whereabouts and hopefully find her alive. Once the helicopter was in the air, Baljeet was spotted on a familiar route and a Sherpa would quickly climb to her location to assist her on the descent. It would take around seven hours, but they successfully made it back to base camp without any issues. Our last climber, Anurag Malu, also an Indian climber that was on Annapurna the same day Noel reached the summit. Although, while Noel was making a bid for the top, Anurag was descending from about 5,800 meters on the mountain to base camp. Similar to Baljeet, he was also descending alone, and due to the good weather, was a bit more relaxed than usual. Unfortunately, as Anurag took a step forward, the snow underneath him parted ways to reveal a hidden crevasse. But it was too late. He would fall into the ice. Luckily, his body stopped after landing on a ledge that was protruding. It was just enough to wedge his body from falling further, but the initial drop was brutal. The shock knocked Anurag out at the time, and his body sustained major injuries. The men back at base camp knew something was off when Anurag would not answer any radio calls and failed to make it back to camp for his check-in. A search and rescue team was put together and began searching for him at his last known location. Helicopters would fly above and attempt to spot anything while Sherpas covered the area on foot. The search would go on for three days straight with no signs of Anurag anywhere. Many already believed he was dead and the search would most likely have not gone on very much longer. 
on April 20th, three days after the fall, a Polish climber by the name of Adam Bilecki was scrounging the area when he stumbled across a huge crevasse. Inside and barely noticeable was a faint red color of a hat that was almost completely covered by snow. Once Adam realized that he had found Onderog, a rescue team was put together, and they began the difficult task of raising him out of the hole. A team of elite climbers worked for hours, using different ropes and a leverage system, until eventually, Onderog was free from his hell. He was transported by helicopter to receive further medical treatment in Kathmandu, and from there was flown back to India where a slow, painful, but full recovery is being made. The first week of the 2023 climbing season on Annapurna 1 came with many hardships. Three climbers particularly fell victim to the dangers an 8,000er can provide. Two of those three were lucky to leave with their lives. Noel Hanna died doing what he has always done, climbing mountains. He knew the risks and understood the dangers on Annapurna, and yet he still wanted the challenge. He leaves behind a legacy that any mountaineer would be proud of.